Hey, this is Casey down at Schaefer Chevrolet. I'm looking at this 2013 GMC Acadia um, <clears throat> SLE trim level. I'll just do a quick walk around of it here for you. I'm looking at the exterior of the vehicle here. I'm looking for like dents and dings and scratches. Um, looking at the hood here, I don't see, really see any there. Looking for any dings, kind of where you'd probably see some as far as like stones and uh, things of that nature kind of riding up and, and hitting there. Um, so, so far so good. I'm not seeing anything like that. I know it's kind of kind of zooming in on you, but I'm just trying to have a watchful eye if, to make sure that there's, you know, nothing that I'm missing to point out to you. Um, and so far, like I said, I don't, I don't see any. Um, Oh, this vehicle too. Uh, what you're looking at here with these little these little dots, these circles, those are going to be your uh, backup sensors. Um, park assist is what it's called. Um, and if you look up under here, this guy, that is going to be your backup camera, which uh, I'll show you on the interior what that looks like on the display. Um, this vehicle also has a luggage rack, um, the antenna up there. You can also unscrew. Um, and, you know, put it in the glove box or get in a car wash or, you know, things like that for any reason you may want to do that. I see, I do see a, a couple uh, minor scratches here. Um, it looks like, you know, they may even be able to be buffed out. I'm not 100% sure, but they, they don't look that deep. Um, so, moving on here, kind of show you these hand-cooked tires. Look like they definitely have some good tread left on them. Um... You know, I'd say, I don't know if I could put an exact time frame on how, you know, how much longer they're going to last, but they definitely look like they got quite a few miles left on them. Um, so just continuing to look around here. Like I said, the, the exterior of this vehicle looks sharp. I, I really like this color personally, um, this uh, gray metallic color that they've got on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop in the interior here. The key's beeping at me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start it up for you as well. So that you can see um, just the dash. Yeah, I don't see any check engine lights or anything like that. Um, 54,861 miles on the odometer. Um, and no other lights or anything on the dash as far as like check engine or service engine, anything like that. Um, this vehicle from the Acadias that I've been in and driven around, I'd say it's it's definitely in good shape one of the better ones i've seen lately um just overall get you a kind of a look at the ceiling here um, i don't see any stains or tears or anything like that and i'm gonna pop in the back seat for you too um in here you know you've got a spot where you could put change or things like that get a little extra cargo space it's got a, a charging port in there as well um and it's just you know retractable there <clears throat> Looking up under here, you've got a little more storage space there. <clears throat> Gear shifter, you're gonna have your rear uh, window wipe control as far as traction control and Stabilitrack. Stabilitrack is actually gonna apply um, automatic pressure to the brakes and um, you know, less than ideal road conditions. If, if the vehicle can sense that it's swaying in the back or fishtailing or anything, it's gonna just go ahead and apply that brake pressure automatically um, to keep the vehicle going straight. So it's definitely a, a really good safety feature, um, especially in these Michigan roads. Um, so looking at this leather wrapped steering wheel here, uh, which came standard on this uh, year's version of the SLE, you've got your cruise control settings here, on and off, you know, resume and set, um, coast. Over here, you're gonna have um, your volume controls as well as, you know, more radio controls here, mute, um, source you know if you want to switch to a CD or um, something like that or AM radio um, you'll be able to do that it's also got auto lights um, on the headlights um, you know daytime running lights another safety feature dual halogen projector headlights so um, very very good uh, headlights especially if you ever do like country side driving um, they're gonna be able to do that um, this vehicle also has a insulation acoustical package as well, I found out. Um, it just, you know, allows for your sound to sound better um, as you listen to the radio or a CD or something like that. Um, 
I'm gonna get out and show you now that another cool thing I thought and it found out it came standard on this year's uh, SLE is these chrome uh, wrapped door handles so take you back to the lift gate here it's a manual lift gate and you're gonna be able to have some extra cargo space in the back here um, you can also fold these seats down it's a 60 40 split on the seat fold and you just get a ton of room um, extra room by doing it that way I mean just still having your middle row of seats you're gonna have all this room back here um, there's some cup holders here on the side it's actually gonna come with 10 total cup holders in this vehicle um, <clears throat> So we'll continue to walk around it. And I got the hood popped open, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Bear with me a second while I do that. Sorry about that, didn't mean to put you on the ground there, but um, Get a peek at your engine compartment. I'll be quiet so you can get a listen here. Um, looks really clean. I mean, we do a inspection on all of our vehicles. Um, we have certified mechanics that, GM certified mechanics that look at these vehicles. And as I was saying here, through dual halogen uh, projector headlamps, you're gonna have that. <clears throat> Trying to see if there's anything else you know I may be missing here. Or another cool thing as far as how your third row, you know, getting access to that third row of seats instead of having to, you know, climb over or something. I mean, you can go ahead and um, fold these seats down. The headrests do fold down here as well so that they can tuck under and, and lay flat like this row of seats. Or you can go ahead and pull this handle and it's gonna bring that part of the seat up and then you can slide it forward so that you have access, you know, basically creating yourself an aisle to that third row of seats. And again, it's a 60-40 split, um, having, you know, the 40 there and the 60 there as far as, you know, your interior space goes. And this vehicle also comes with a six month, 6,000 mile powertrain warranty uh, through Schaefer Chevrolet. Um, show you that here on the window sticker we've got six months six thousand miles um, other than that I mean this vehicle is is it sounds good it runs good it feels good I'm actually um, while I'm on that note I'm just gonna go ahead and get in it and drive it around a little bit so you can see you know I did uh, drive it down the street not too long ago and um, tested out the brakes to see if there was any pulsations or anything like that um, and I did not notice any, you know, pulling or pulsating of the brakes. So I'm just going to drive around, show you that, uh, you know, this vehicle is definitely, it rides really nice. I mean, it's quiet, it's smooth. You know, I rode at a Buick Enclave the other day that, um, you know, quite frankly, the, the suspension on it felt really, uh, really kind of shoddy i mean it was a bouncy ride but this one i mean this one's handling all of these huge potholes we have in our um throughout our parking lot here and i mean you just don't really feel them that much i'm gonna go ahead and step on the brakes here no noise on the brake um it breaks and continues to move straight forward you're also gonna have your microphone if you wanna use the Bluetooth. Here is gonna be actually to your um, your radio system and um, you're gonna be able to, you know, click through having control of, you know, if you want AM, FM, XM radio. Um, I believe there's a trial of XM radio that um, you can sign up for with this vehicle. It's gonna have your thermometer and uh, time, things of that nature as well. Um, vehicle information center. It's gonna show you different things like, um, you know, your trip odometer, gas mileage, compass, um, a whole bunch of things you can play with as far as your options go. Um, you know, just kind of give you the information you want to see. Um, power mirrors and windows and locks, uh, child safety locks in the back, 
um, as a safety feature as well. Um, this vehicle has um, side airbags as well. So um, YouTube doesn't let me download any longer videos than I'm about to be at. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to let you go here. But um, if you have any other questions on this vehicle, uh, please don't hesitate to ask, and I can certainly. Um, you know, go ahead and look at that for you real quick too. Before I cut cut us off here, I do want you to see it's got a dual climate zone control in the back seat. That's going to be here, um, so you know you can have different climate zone in the in the back seat as far as air conditioning and if it's going on the feet or towards your head. You know, it's got all these vents up on the ceiling here. As you can see, there's uh, four of them. And um, you know, overall, it's a clean vehicle. I don't see stains, tears, rips, anything of that. Like I said, it uh, appears to be a very straightforward, um, you know, kind of know what to expect type of vehicle. So, um, again, just if you have any other questions, please ask. And this is the 2013 GMC Acadia SLE here at Schaefer Chevrolet in Pinconning, Michigan. Thanks for watching. Bye.